All done packing? Well, if you forget anything, I'll mail it to you. Thanks. Can I go answer the door? Oh, yeah. That's right. Sure. Go answer it. There's nothing to worry about anymore. Seeing her so cheerful like that, nothing makes me happier. I already bought your train ticket for tomorrow. It leaves at 9 o'clock in the morning from Yasuina bus station. Today's your last day here. Don't worry about Nanako. You can leave her to me. Go see your friends. This might be your last chance to talk to them. We're going to talk to everybody that we've maxed our social links with. And, uh, we've maxed out all of them. Look at that! Ah! Uh. My. What a coincidence. We really are connected by fate. Shall we talk like old times? Goodness, I am so happy. I just went to visit my husband's grave. Then I came to look at the river like I did last time. Next <laughs> thing I know, here you are. There's a surprise. I live with one of my kids and his family now. They're all so kind. I just realized that I almost never talked about my children with you. I probably distanced myself from the rest of my family. I was afraid that if I didn't, I was going to depend on them. They're living their own lives. I didn't want to be a burden on them. So I wanted them to forget about me, to treat me as if I was dead. But they welcomed me and now we live together. They take care of me, but I'm taking care of my grandson. <laughs> so, there's a little bit of give and take there. There really is a place in the world where I belong. I just assume that there isn't one. They're my children, my family. I regret that I didn't talk with them before. My husband's death must have been sad for them too. After all, they lost their father. Are you happy now? Yes. Very much so. I'm so happy right now, but because of that, I feel sad every now and then. I can't help but think he must have wanted to feel this happiness too. So I've decided that the best thing I can do is live a long, happy life. I'll make the rest of my life as great as it can be. And then I'll tell my husband about it when I see him again. Then, we'll have all of eternity to be happy together. I'm not afraid anymore. Just a little lonely. I'll also have to tell him everything that happened in town, too. About this whole crazy year, those awful murders, and how the police solved the case. I'll definitely have to tell him all about you, too. I recently realized something. Precious things remain precious, whether you're alive or dead. <laughs> Sorry for making you listen to all my long-winded monologue. You look like you still have things left to do. You look like you've grown up a lot, Jason. You're much more handsome now, too. Not as handsome as my husband was, though. I'll see you again. You still have a lot of life ahead of you.
Hey, it's you, mister. Oh. <laughs> what a coincidence. You and I just decided to come here today. Is this fate? Let's play. Don't be selfish, Yuta. I want to talk to him, too. Ah! Yeah, let's play. I appreciate you playing with Yuta. You really wore him down. He fell asleep on the bench. You know how the criminal behind those incidents got arrested? I was afraid because everything about the case was so mysterious, and that awful fog didn't help either. When I heard the culprit was arrested, the first thing that came to my mind was about Yuta. He's safe now. I felt so relieved. I can now understand what it means by the life of a parent revolves around their child. I just want my kids to grow up to be a kind person. That's really all I ask of Yuta. Life is not only about yourself. There are always other people around you, so your life will affect theirs. I want Yuta to become the type of person who can empathize with someone else, understand their situation. I believe that being kind to others will satisfy one's own heart. Thank you. I never really thought about my life in the past. I thought I'd be okay if I could enjoy the moment. I'd just spend the rest of my life killing time. But now I see things differently. Having Yuta with me every day, laughing together over small things, I feel alive. <laughs> I'm glad I'm a mother. I have to go now. I promised Yuta we'd make spaghetti and meatballs tonight. I'm glad I met you. Thank you. I'll see you later. You have come. Yes. Goodbye, handshake. Oh. <laughs> 
Now, close your eyes. Um... Why, you ask? So that you don't witness my sinfulness. Wait, hang on, what? No! Oh my. Mm. I was not expecting that. <laughs> At all. Why did I steal a kiss? Is that what you were going to ask? But it's you who was the thief. Uh, <laughs> what? Okay, then. Of course. Oh, Sensei. What a coincidence meeting you here. What are you doing? Saying goodbye. What are you talking about? I'm leaving town tomorrow. Tomorrow? That's so sudden. I have a baseball game tomorrow. But I want to see you off. It's okay if you can't come. Oh, okay. Then... Can I tell you something I've always wanted to say? I made a friend! He's in the store right now, buying ice cream. It's the guy who transferred here that I told you about before. Remember? He's a fun guy, and he's nice. He spoke up for me when I got suspended for cheating. And thanks to him, I have other friends now. He's teaching me about comics and video games. And, in return, I help him study. Sometimes we do our homework together. I never thought that fun was something you could have every day. Instead of being afraid and running away, I should have just faced it head on. Sensei, thank you very much. Um, your tutoring was great. I really learned a lot. I'm going to hit a home run tomorrow. It'll go so far away, it'll reach your train. Please don't forget about me, even if you're far away. I'll remember you, too. I'm glad you came to this town. It must have been scary for you, though, with those murders. Those only happened while you were here, huh? You must have bad luck. Sensei? Thank... Thank you. What's a young man like you doing in an old place like this? This place was bustling with visitors not too long ago, but these days you see less and less. I heard the town was considering tearing the place down because someone stole money from the offertory box. I also heard some fox had taken up a home here and they were gonna haul it off to an animal shelter. Too many rumors these days. Remember that one about how the fog was making everyone sick? Or that other one, what was it called? Midnight Radio. That was popular with the kids, all right. My grandson and his friends were all into it. Funny, 
I remember something kind of like that happening when I was a kid, too. Wonder who starts these rumors. Oh, almost forgot. I was supposed to pick up some juice for my grandson. Got three little ones with you. Oh, hello. I heard you're leaving tomorrow. You know, Kanji's been acting all sad and lonely lately. <laughs> Shut up, you old bat! I told you not to speak to me that way. Anyway, have you told him about the handicraft class? Thank you for being such a role model for my son. Come visit here sometime. Goodbye now. Uh, you, you didn't hear what she said, did you? Handicraft class? Uh... See, a bunch of customers like those knitted dolls we sold and they asked me how to make them. So, I'm gonna hold a class from now on on how to do it. Uh, laugh it up, why don't you? <laughs> You're... No, that's pretty cool. Senpai. It was my decision, though. If people want to learn, and if I can teach them, hell, why not, you know? I'm still kind of embarrassed, though. But, um, it kind of feels good to do something for other people. <laughs> It's only because of you that I could face up to who I am, senpai. Thank you very much. Are you going to say goodbye to the others later? Well, it ain't like this is the last time we'll see each other. Our friendship ain't just on the surface. Funny how we got that murder case to thank for that. We put an end to that stuff, right? Adachi's in the slammer and the fog is all cleared up. It's all thanks to you, senpai. Yo, senpai, when you go, don't turn back around. Uh, okay. See ya. Oh, what are you doing here? You're moving tomorrow, right? Don't you have more important things to do? I came to talk to you. With me, you really are a strange person. Just to let you know, I just got back from school. I told them to stop treating me special next year. If I didn't speak up now, you know how the classes would have been organized. And I was just about to go deliver some goods. I got a scooter license, so I can actually help now. There aren't that many people who come to the store out of pity anymore, so we gotta work really hard. Oh, did you know our top selling product? Handcrafted eau de toilette. We use sake instead of ethanol, and it's become pretty popular. <laughs> to tell you the truth, it was my idea. I heard some girls talking about it, so I did some research. Well, it may not be what a proper liquor store would sell, but it's selling, so it's good for business. I feel like I'm back on my own two feet, and I can start moving forward again. It's all thanks to you. Thank you very much. Alcohol's interesting. I can't drink it yet, of course, since I'm underage. I was thinking about studying it once I get to college. I never thought I'd feel this way back then. It seems as if Sis died a long time ago. The killer's been caught, so... I just hope nothing like this ever happens again. I really do wish that. Oh, I'm sorry. You're probably in the middle of talking to everyone, aren't you? I'll see you later. Do you remember this rooftop? You stopped me when I was thinking about jumping off. Thinking back on it, that was pretty dumb. Thank you. You stopped me and you listened. I'm glad I'm able to tell you that before you left. I probably don't have the right to say this. I know I hurt your feelings. 
but since you're leaving, I have to. So, thank you so much. I'm sorry I didn't know how to treat someone as precious as you. I've been thinking about the future lately. Not so much about college or jobs or anything like that, but that I want to become a nicer person. Does that sound like a weird goal? Hmm. No. Good for you. Yeah, huh? Um, I'm glad I met you. I don't know what I'd be like if I hadn't. Maybe I'd be totally into that midnight channel. Oh, and spreading a bunch of rumors, too. I can never see that happening to me now. I must have went through a pretty drastic change. End of conversation. It made me so nervous saying all that. I've never done it before. Why don't you say goodbye to your other friends? I'm sure they're waiting for you. I think I'll head home. My extra class is over. No, I'm not gonna say goodbye. I'll see you later. <laughs> what a coincidence. We were just talking about you. Why don't you join us, man? Well... You see, we started talking about whether or not all the crazy stuff that happened here was really over, and... We were consoling each other about you leaving tomorrow. Why do you gotta blurt that stuff out? That's embarrassing, man. To be honest, though, I did want to see you one last time, but I figured you'd be too busy. The next thing I know, you walk right in. It's like, man, I was being thoughtful and for nothing. Oh, while you're here, let me tell you something. After I graduate, I think I'm going to go to college overseas. Not only does it sound like a blast, but I think it'll look good on my resume when I join the society, you know? I figured that'll help with the Ichijo family, too. Come on, you're not doing this for your family. I know, it's for my own sake. It's not for the family that took me in, or because I'm their son. I want to support the family in my own way. I don't need to be the head in order to do that. That's why I think it'll be cool to study overseas. I'm sure I'll learn all kinds of things I couldn't overhear. Of course, <laughs> Daisuke's gonna be a loner. 
Not really. No matter where in the world all of us are, it won't matter. Friends are still friends, even when you can't see each other all the time. What? <sighs> Those were some touching words, man. To tell you the truth, I had a hard time just thinking about how to start this conversation. I was even thinking about hopping on the train tomorrow, so I could tell him all about it. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like a bad idea. Why don't we get some ramen? Um, you can come back and visit us anytime you want, man. This is your hometown too, no? I'm sure you've got other people to say your goodbyes to. We can see you off tomorrow, but uh, we'll always be friends. We'll always be friends too. Hey, don't steal my lines. I'm gonna make you eat pickled bamboo shoots. Oh, I knew he'd come. I came here today to turn something in and I felt this wave of nostalgia. We used to be in this club together. You're leaving tomorrow, right? Yeah. I have something to tell you. I haven't really put my thoughts in order yet, but I want you to hear what I have to say. Because you're the one who changed how I think. I'm thinking of joining the student council. I figured I should do something for my school. I want to take part in some local politics, too. The town is voting whether to keep the gas masks. I understand why people wouldn't want to see them ever again, but what happens if the fog comes back, you know? Oh, and I've started working at Juness. I'm a cashier at the food court. I'd like to try some more of the clubs at school, too. To be honest, I'd like to go back to the drama club. I want to see and feel the world I live in. So I'm planning to try as many things as I can, as long as the opportunities are there. I've been thinking about what I'm supposed to do in my life. That is, I want to find out what the significant meaning in my life is. Why my parents created me. Though if I find that out, I can't be satisfied with that answer. I have to do something with that knowledge. Do something for the people who live on after me. I believe the goal of life is to pass things on to as many people as you can. It's not about inheriting blood or continuing your genetic line, it's more like passing on your memories. Maybe I should start off by getting a boyfriend. I mean, <laughs> I can't be with you since you're leaving. And anyway, you ran away when I asked you in the first place. I doubt I'll ever find anyone as good as you, though. I hope we can see each other again. Take care of yourself. The fact that I care about you so much won't change. We won't be alone. Sensei, I'm super duper happy that you came to see me! Going around saying goodbye, huh? What did you think of the sleepy, peaceful version of Inaba? It must seem weird to you. I wonder why it began just as you arrived here. I remember that first time Sensei and Yosuke braving the TV world alone. Boy, I feel so nostalgic. Yeah. Ever since then, it was just one surprise after another. Hmm. I can't imagine how it's gonna be like living here without you. A quiet, peaceful town with no need to use our personas anymore. I can't imagine it either. That's right. We were right in the middle of the case when you came over to this side. A lot of stuff's happened. Facing my true self, and you and me got into a fight, too? Yosuke, did you smack, Sensei? Oh, how reckless. <laughs> of course, moron. Best friends gotta fight sometimes to be best friends. Why didn't you say so earlier? Sensei, bring it on. Let's fight. Uh, 
Don't hurt him, man. He's got to get on that train tomorrow. Sensei, you're really leaving, huh? I'm glad I met you and Yosuke. You two completely changed my life. And Nana-chan, Yuki-chan, and the others, too. They all helped me. They gave life to me. Life? Come on, man. You were the one who wanted to change. That's why you tried so hard to make it happen. Thank you so much, Sensei and Yosuke. I love you. Love is kind of strong. I'll take off my outfit if you want. Let's not. By the way, is it okay for you to chill here? Don't you have somewhere to go? Like, meeting someone? Do you want Teddy to come with you? No, <sighs> I think Teddy has to work. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds exciting. Big bro. Of course. I'll always remember you. Nicole. If he's still available by the time you're an adult. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> 